students in this lesson let us learn about the discovery and occurrence of hydrogen we know some things about hydrogen by now that we that hydrogen is an element it is inflammable it burns with a pop sound and so many more things but have you ever wondered this hydrogen gas who must have discovered this gas it was robert boyle in the year 1672 robert boyle did an experiment with metal and an acid and he found that is a colorless gas is given up but there was nothing known about this gas after that then in 1766 there was another scientist called henry cavendish henry cavendish in the year 1766 studied this metal acid reaction and found out that the gas that is evolved catches fire that means it burns it is combustible and burns with a pop sound so henry cavendish named the gas as inflammable air inflammable means a substance that catches fire very soon so inflammable air it was termed as then years later in 1783 In 1783 Antoine Lavoisier found out that hydrogen is a part of water molecule water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen so he found out that hydrogen is an important part of water so he named the inflammable air as hydrogen where the greek word hydro means water now let us move ahead and see the occurrence of hydrogen in our atmosphere as well as in the earth's crust now let's talk about occurrence and when we talk about occurrence of hydrogen hydrogen can either exist in the free state or it can exist in the combined state in the combined state as in it will always be mixed with something or the other when it is naturally occurring and in the free state as in it is naturally occurring in only hydrogen form so that's a free state so in the atmosphere and in the earth's crust hydrogen is found in little traces it is not in much amount around us so in the atmosphere here i'm talking about the earth's atmosphere so it is only 0.01% of the atmosphere which is made up of hydrogen then we talk about earth's crust earth's crust is made up of only 0.98% of hydrogen so finally we know that who discovered hydrogen and how is hydrogen occurring in the atmosphere start learning the processes through which we can manufacture hydrogen and we will be learning the three important process which are used in industries for the manufacturing of hydrogen on a large scale let's talk about the first process which is called electrolysis of water so we are going to talk about electrolysis of water in which we are going to split water using electricity and water is nothing but h2o which is made up of molecules containing two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom So when we pass electricity through water hydrogen and oxygen can be separated now water cannot conduct electricity if it is in its pure form without mixture of anything else pure h2o cannot conduct electricity because there are no ions present in it so we put some acid in it some sulfuric acid so that the water splits into ions so this is the electrolysis of water through which we can produce hydrogen Okay till now we have studied one process that is electrolysis of water now let's study the second process through which hydrogen is produced in industries which is called the bosch process so we are going to study with the bosch process the first step in bosch process is we require carbon now in the industries we take coke coke is nothing but some somewhere around 98% of carbon it is almost a pure form of carbon and this substance coke looks like coal and it is easily cheaply available 
so coke is used in industries on a large scale for any process for if we need carbon then we have coke which is passed over steam steam is nothing but water in the gaseous state so when steam is passed over coke a temperature for this reaction required is 1000 degree celsius at 1000 degree celsius these two react and they form water gas which is a combination of carbon monoxide and hydrogen it is a mixture it is a mixture as in in this mixture carbon monoxide is also present and hydrogen is also present but they are not chemically combined so this is called the water gas which is formed by the reaction of steam and coke at 1000 degrees celsius now this is an endothermic reaction because for the formation of these products heat is absorbed so this is endothermic in the second step what happens is we take water gas that is a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen and this is mixed with excess steam steam is nothing but water in the gaseous state again it this mixture is passed over heated ferric oxide ferric oxide is fe2o3 ferric means ions valency is 3 and oxide means oxygen whose valency is 2 so when cross multiplication happens the formula becomes fe2o3 so this is heated ferric oxide and heated as in it, the temperature of ferric oxide right now is 450 degrees celsius so when this mixture is passed over heated ferric oxide the carbon monoxide gets oxidized to carbon dioxide and hydrogen remains as it is we get two molecules of hydrogen now in this reaction a lot of heat is evolved so we write plus delta delta is indicating heat your heat was absorbed your heat is evolved so this is exothermic so this is the bosch process